Well, well, well. It's always interesting that when facts start to come out, how quiet things become, specifically from, let's just say, a certain aspect of maybe just hypothetically, allegedly individuals that like to lie a lot. And when those lies are called out, the other side, again, let's just say, hypothetically, we call them conspiracy theorists, or I don't know, you know, something like that. It's always funny when they're right, because usually it's, uh, I got to word this right, you know, it's always one of those, just a heads up, by the way, too, this, this episode is going to be a lot of politic talk, a lot of real world talk, stuff that you might not enjoy, so feel free to turn it off, or feel free to continue to listen, which I would actually prefer you do, because maybe you have some insight into some of the things that we will discuss uh, uh, on this podcast because let's just look at the facts f a c t s for the last what is it two to three years we were told continuously 24 7 that there was a certain i don't know a certain illness was just just cre- it just it just happened it was in the world and it was it evolved and made things really bad just you know like the flu the flu evolves into different strains and things like that where two to three years ago people like myself quote unquote a conspiracy theorist we actually dug a little deeper and when we dug deeper we found out we knew back then when this all started, that it was created. And the facts are out now that this whole thing was created in a lab. There's no ifs, ands, or buts anymore. This is now official that this thing was created. And I hope, I really, really do, I really hope for those that are still not awake, that maybe you just start to open your eyes just a little bit. Because I hope it gets you to think that if this, one of the, one of the world's most craziness time in history over the last two, three years, was man-made, What else was? What else is being purposely done or not done? You know, look at Ohio right now. Look at all these, I mean, just farmlands across the world being burned to the ground. No, nothing else is being touched, just the farms. These, you know, you look at these chickens and the hens everywhere. They're not laying eggs all of a sudden since feed has been changed. Is it done on purpose? Question mark. Now, obviously that could go down many, 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 many different rabbit holes. But I really do hope that people are maybe just starting to take a quick little peep, you know, a little peep, peek, peek, whatever, peep, peep, whatever you want to call it. Um, Because, you know, you, you need to. We are literally on the cusp of a world war. Quite frankly, if you ask me, I think we already are in one. It's just a very different form of it. Please, to this day, I would love it for somebody to explain how the United States can give over $100 billion to a country 
that doesn't even support gay marriage. And yet, we're supposed to say, yeah, that's cool. It is mind-boggling. And it is complete and absolute horseshit. That I will not ever be afraid to say. Now, to be clear, war is horrible. And obviously, I, your heart does go out to the people to the innocent people, the civilians, etc., of Ukraine and in Russia. Nobody ever wants harm to people, children, women, men, everything in between. But do not tell me that this is about something other than some political bullshit. This is nothing to do with I, I mean, just think of something around Russia and Putin, blah, blah, blah. And I can promise you, it has nothing to do with that. This is by design. You're telling me Ohio can't get a dime of help, but yet we can throw a hundred billion dollars to Ukraine. You've got to be kidding me if you believe that there is any sort of good reasoning behind that. Do you know what a hundred billion dollars could do here in the United States? I'll give you some perspective because you knew I would. One hundred billion dollars could literally fix the entire United States infrastructure that includes railroad, railroads, freeways, roads, etc. five times over. Not just once, five times. You know the walls that we should be building along our borders because every other country on the planet does? Yeah, we could build probably around 15 to 16 of those. Oh, and let's talk about, you know, energy, food, etc. You do realize a hundred billion dollars could solve it. The opioid crisis, remember that stuff that nobody talks about? Shoves it under the rug. Yeah, that'd be gone. Because let's be real, money is what drives everything. It drives your health, it drives war, it drives energy it drives everything but yet we continue to just look the other way when just the most astronomical crap is being thrown everywhere else except here at home so yeah i do get passionate behind it and i do get you know i don't know if anger is the right word well yeah no anger is the right word but I just, I don't sit back anymore. I'm not, I'm not going to sit back anymore. It's, it's, it's enough. Now, again, I'm just one person. I can't do real, I mean, there's the cliche. Can I do much about it? Probably not. But simply by voicing this and hopefully maybe the one person that maybe has never heard or listened to me, maybe listens and goes, huh, he makes a valid point. That's all I can hope for. That's really, really all I can hope for. Because my God, this is getting ridiculous. And if you believe it, if you believe this is for a good cause, I really genuinely worry and I will pray for you because, dear God, what is it going to take for you to see the truth? Now, one of the best things about everything that I'm talking about right now is the fact that we still, at current, live in the freest country in the world, the United States. But for how long? Fuck if I know. So yes, you can not like what I'm saying. You can agree to what I'm saying. And that's the beauty of it 
is we all have the ability to say and do it, do what we want within reason, of course, you, you know, hopefully I don't cross any boundaries that I, that, I, you know, don't need to be crossed. And hopefully I don't say anything that's going to get me fired or whatever you want to call it. But I'm not going to just sit and pretend like it's all fine. You know, it's, it's again, that cliche of you, you didn't need fact checkers until the truth started coming out before COVID. Tell me when there was facts, uh, fact checkers. Tell me when, you know, before all the COVID situation, you didn't need your social media constantly monitored and have little postings of how, you know, this is partially correct. This is impartially correct. This is not right. This is blah, blah, blah. blah. It's like that never existed before COVID. So why does it, why does it, why is it, why is it now? And the stuff that we told you three, two, three years ago, guess what? They're now agreeing to it. They're saying, hey, yeah, remember when we said that? You told us we were liars and bigots and racists. Oh, it turns out we were right. Again. So that's conspiracy theorists 117 to the other side. None. What is it going to take for you to wake up? The saddest truth is, and I'm saying this completely morbidly, and I know this isn't exactly the most positive podcast. Is it going to take people dying by the thousands, the tens of thousands, the millions? At the rate we're going, I don't really see that as something fictional anymore. We are heading down a path of irreparable damage. If that's a word, irreparable, yeah. Something, you know what I'm going with that. And yet, we don't blink an eye. It's just stuff that I ponder a lot. And again, the only real benefit I get from it is just making sure that even if I am alone in all of it, which let's be real, I am very much at the same time. I mean, let's be, you know, I'm hopeful that there are, there are others out there that, you know, feel similar to I do, but dear God, I have never been more alone with this and I've always said because I truly believe it but it is actually the greatest gift that's ever been given to me because for the first time in my life I have a, I mean I, I'm not afraid anymore to just speak who I really am if you don't like it join the crowd nobody else has no wait you know no but what I'm trying to get at metaphorically is, you know, like I've always said, friends, family, nobody's stuck to my back. Anytime anybody ever gave me support, usually has walked away. So I just do it alone. Because I'm hoping that one day, when that person or whoever, family, friends, stranger, when they come to me and say, hey, tell me about this. I need to learn more. I will be there. Even a simple kind of deterring, uh, um, detouring a little bit. But, you know, you look at the gun, there's new gun laws being passed in Washington now that are the just they're just laughable at this point. I, I swear to you, I mean, again, not verbatim, but like there's a new law that's going to they're trying to kick through that any firearm that requires the use of two hands is illegal. Have you ever shot a gun before? You use both hands to stabilize, to make sure that your target is in view and you are able to essentially operate the firearm in the safest way possible. And you know what their excuse is? 
Oh, well, you need the other hand to call 911. Oh, that's right. So I'm guessing when the when the original forefathers of America wrote the Constitution, they thought about having your cell phone so that you could call 911. Give me a fucking break. Oh, and the best part, too, is, you know, because let's not let's not take into account that we live in the 21st century, 22nd, something. But the bottom line is we have cell phones now that we can simply go, hey, Siri, could you call the cops? To me, it doesn't need, you don't need, you need a hand to do that. It's just bullshit. Complete and utter bullshit. Are you, I mean... Seriously, think about it for a moment. Are you any better off than you were three, four years ago? Do you have more money in your bank? Do you have all your bills paid? Are you able to get by on a paycheck? It's ridiculous out there. So when are you going to wake up? When are you going to say enough is enough? I genuinely, I would love to know, ask yourself, what is the line that's going to be, have to be crossed for you to finally go, hold on. Clearly my line was reached years ago. Obviously I didn't express it as much as I do now, but. It's that one thing that I hope one day when you do, whoever is listening to this and maybe you you have, you know, quote unquote, woken up or metaphorically, allegedly woken up, etc. I just, I hope you see that you will never see the world ever again like you do after waking up. You can't go back. I can't go back. I can't go back to pretending like this is all how it is, the way it's supposed to be. I don't buy it. I never did for a day. You know, I know we I won't go down that path, but you look at even just the whole rising sea levels and this and that. You know, if it was such a big deal, why are there still 30 to 40 year mortgages on homes being built 10 feet away? Why are all these elites and these politicians buying 15 bedroom mansions not 50 yards from the beach? If it was such a big deal, why? Because everything they're telling you is crap. Trust the science. Trust the science. No, I trust the money. I see where the money goes, and that's who I trust. Because I trust the fact that that money is buying whatever you need to believe, because that's what your your social media is telling you, that's what your media is telling you, your news, your television, so on and so forth. The money is telling you what to believe, and what to have as fact or fiction. When we have people like me, we don't, we can't be bought. We simply look and we read the facts and we look at the facts and we see the facts. And mathematically, the facts don't add up to what you're being pushed. Either through your phone, through your TV, your social media, it's all crap. And maybe, I pray, I pray every day, one day we wake up, and as the majority, we, we, we just, we change things for the better. God, human beings, we used to do so much incredible things. We went to the moon, for God's sake. What was the last, when was the last time you can think of where human and mankind achieved greatness? I'm sure stuff happens that are remarkable every day, but I'll be honest, 
it's just sad that my generation has never seen it. And probably at this point never will. It's just, it's kind of heartbreaking if you think about it. I don't really know in my lifetime if I will ever get to see mankind do something incredible. And yeah, that is really negative and really woe is me type talk. But once again, that's just the facts. Tell me differently. But I won't end on a sober, on a somber note, I guess, if that's the right way to say it. I'll simply say this. With everything that's going on right now, the optimistic thing really is the fact that people are genuinely waking up. The facts prove it. We're not buying into it anymore. Now, is there much we can do about it? Probably not. But there's going to come a time where hopefully one day we can. And no, that does not mean violence. I would never, ever promote that. But change is coming. Big change. Some of you ain't going to like it. And that's just the fact of the matter. But until then... I genuinely, I hope and I pray that things get better for everybody in the long run. You have a better life, more money, good health, everything in between. I thank you for listening. Please share, subscribe, follow, like, comment. Spot of nerd. You know you love me. Thank you all so, so very much. We will continue this talk way more in the future and i appreciate you putting up with um not so positive podcast episodes sometimes like these but sometimes i just gotta get it out i gotta get it off my chest and i think this is the best way to do it i really do but until next time folks we will see you next time later y'all